We're rolling. Hey, we're here at Lone Star PHP. Uh, Jerry McCullough, this is Matt Frost. We're here with Jason Ragsdale. Uh, this is uh, Left Pad. Uh, yep. He's been in the news lately. Yep. Uh, so we've got some lovely Pringles here. This is the best variety of Pringles I can get in Addison, Texas. They're, they don't import a lot. Uh, but I was I was reasonably happy with some of the, there's a lot of nice Mexican snacks, but uh, this is what we have here. So we have um, the old standby salt and vinegar. Uh, so we'll, I think everybody's had that before. Mm -hmm. right. okay. uh, honey mustard, uh, we actually haven't done that on camera before. Uh, buffalo ranch might be a local flavor, uh, as well as jalapeno. Now previously we did, I think we did bacon jalapeno uh, with the sweet PHP. So this, this will be new without the bacon dynamic. We'll see how that plays out. Um, so Dan, this is your conference, so what would you like to start with? Yeah. I'm going to start with the Buffalo Ranch. Buffalo Ranch, making a bold move there. Yeah. Uh, these were uh, $2.99 down at the Addison Market. Uh, let's uh, welcome Bastian. Hello. Bastian from uh, Berlin is joining us. He's already got a plate full of fajitas. Um, just pass that around for a smell test. So, what, what are the flavor notes that are coming out there? Um, I think a little bit of a ranch and a hint of buffalo. Uh, ranch and buffalo, those I, are... Those I would are, echo that. That matches the... The label, so that's uh, that's pretty sure. Free range buffalo. Free range Truth in advertising. Uh, would you like to do the first uh, first sample there? Thank you, sir. Get some some love for the cameraman as well. Cameraman, would you like some love? Thank you. It's like almost entirely ranch. Mm -hmm. Almost entirely ranch. Yeah. Would you say the buffalo is just understated? Yes. Um, to a severe degree, yes. No, it does have top billing though. So it's the buffalo first. lobby. Well, answer time first. Please. The buffalo lobby is strong. Yeah. That's uh, that's not bad though. No. Did you say you prefer the use of normal ranch? No. No. You, prefer, think, you think, think ranch is a stronger play? I, I actually do like taking the uh, the actual ranch and just dipping it straight up in ranch. Oh, you're just, you're just dipping into ranch. ranch. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes I just eat the ranch with a spoon. I know there's people a, are watching. There's a lot of bases ranch as a condiment. I, I don't love that. I, 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 I like these. Okay, they, they are nice. Um, um, uh, Jason, would you uh, would you prefer a follow up here? What would you like? Uh, let's go with the salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's get the pop because these are always very tightly packed. You're gonna want that freshness. Oh, that's that's that sound effect you want to hear. Uh, here, now you've had these before. Uh, yeah, this, this, now, so, yeah. I've said this before in camera. I'll go on record again. Pringles salt and vinegar are probably one of the better salt and vinegar takes, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, they'd be right behind like kettle cooked chips. Hey, do we not have a spit bucket? <laughs> so not a fan there. Your take on this, Jason? More vinegar. More, needs more vinegar. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I can go a little more vinegar, but not bad. A little more vinegar. Now, I expect bold move here. We usually don't do this at the end. What if you were to combine these? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Does that work? No. Doesn't work. Okay. Uh, follow it up. Call it audible here. Honey mustard. Any objections to honey mustard? Mm -hmm. All right. You want to pop this for us? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Sorry. Some love for the camera man with the salt vinegar. Thank you. Oh, oh, that's a good pop. That is a strong pop. You must work out. <laughs> this, is, this is nice. This is a really, this is like French's honey mustard. Oh, yeah. Look at some crumbs in there. Yeah, crumbs in the top. That's not what you want to see. Oh, wow. These, these might have been sitting on the shelf for a while. Cameraman, here you go. Thank you. Now, this is, these, definitely some yellow. These are probably the most, most yellow. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Mm. The mustard hits you right yeah. out. Mm. Uh, surprisingly, mm. the sweetness yeah. is right there. Yeah. yeah, that is nice. They really did capture the honey flavor in a powdered form, which is really some interesting chemistry. <laughs> yeah. um, and there's jalapeno. We'll wrap it up with jalapeno. Yeah. Again, no bacon here, so this is um, this is veggie friendly. Uh, assuming Pringles are actually made from vegetables. Yeah. Not not kind of a weak pop there. You did have a powder. <laughs> And also, not really, not really a spicy oh, scent on this. If you, if you just give that a whiff, just put your nose right into the can there. I feel like I'm about to mix myself. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that's, that was no, not it's, it's mellow. Myself. It's pretty mellow. Yeah. Mm. Uh, pretty high in fiber, three percent. Yeah. It's jalapeno. Yeah. The heat is there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It just. Yeah. That is nice. Yeah. It's like a crescendo of spice. Uh, some love for the cameraman, unless you don't take the spicy things. No, no. Uh, major thanks to Gary and PHP Storm for uh, for running the camera this time. Um, so your, would you say your favorites of the selection mm. here? Jason? Uh, I'll, jalapeno came up. Uh, jalapeno just snuck in at the end and took it from you? Matt? I, I... For me, it was the dark horse, the honey mustard. Dark horse, honey mustard. Yeah. I'm actually gonna have to go with the honey mustard as well. Okay. 
But we are twins, so of course we pick the same favorite. And then, uh, as always, it's a shocker to no one, uh, salt and vinegar for myself. And on that bombshell, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Uh, stay tuned for the rest of the antics here at, uh, what is this conference again? Lone, Lone Star, Star PHP. <laughs> Cheers.